got a crock. McCoy. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, they're wheat pennies. Oh, we have silver coins in here, Shane. Oh, this one's heavy. Holy smoke. It's one of the heaviest jewelry box I ever felt. Hopefully it's got something in there. That's something. Oh, no way. Hey everybody, how are we doing today? It's me, Robert Zabel, the auctioneer extraordinaire with Second Sense Auctions. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And I got Super Shane here, my right hand man. And I bought two units at this facility. If you didn't see the first video, you need to check it out. Pay $300 for a unit, and it was all over the board. Chop full of surprises, but definitely gonna make some cash on that unit. And this unit here, I paid a little bit more. I said they were ending at midnight. I think I bid on this unit to like 12.25, 12.30 in the morning. I think I paid 450, $460 for the unit. And more than I wanted to pay, but I did see some things in there that intrigued me thought this might be a really good unit so let's take a look inside you haven't subscribed come on it's free easiest thing to do just subscribe hit that bell get all your notifications you guys don't want to miss things like this unit all right it's a 10 by 20 it's big it's packed it's stacked a couple things i've seen well first off is this is glow and vintage gloves i do pretty well with and I seen the vintage glows. Kind of makes me think there could be other vintage old items in here. Let me see this box. Right here. Hopefully, that's the sound of money. Well, we got all kind of little vintage stuff in the box. We got some starfish down there. A leather camel. Fan. So, a little hodgepodge of stuff. Some stuff made in Greece. I see the clothes, yeah, not too much. But then this thing here, Shane was looking for one of these. Believe it or not, I like Shane. So look at this. This one looks like it's brand new in the box, Shane. Mm -hmm. And what is this, Shane? It's a, it's a sprayer for uh, clean your car off with. So it's okay. like a little pressure sprayer. It's got that long piece that the other one didn't have. It has the long piece. It has brand new, brand new batteries. How much is one of these brand new? I like uh, 50 bucks. 50 bucks? It's probably 100. Shane can probably tell me low because he wants to have it, you know? <laughs> he says too much and he's like, ah, it's not worth that much. Huh. Vintage purses. 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 Cool hat. That kind of looks good on me, I think. Yeah? And then I saw back there, there's a toolbox, some vintage furniture. Some toys I saw, so we'll see what's in this unit. Never know what's in the garbage bag. Hangers. Got the wet, wet back right there, so. Oh, right there. Tackle box. There's that box. Right here. Did you see this? I did not. Holy smoke. That's an old, old train track right there, and that's big size train. Hopefully, we'll find that. This unit's starting to look good. So we got a close. All kind of clothes on here. Pictures. Oh, what's this? Breakfast spreads. North Carolina. The Miners Inn Gazette. Huh. It's definitely going to be an interesting unit. It might turn out to be better than another one. Memorial benefit. There's a box in here. It's got this, dude. Bundle of smoke, man. Mm. Huh. Huh. Oh wow. Look at that and look at this. We just found this in the clothes. there it might be oh it's inside out that's why 
inside out. I bet you that's the exact same as that picture. So that's going to make that more valuable. We'll sell them together. So we're going to look at this table right now. It's mid-century modern, and it is a Haywood Wakefield. So this table right here, we might get $500 for this table. We had the chairs and everything. We could get $1,000. There's this piece next to the buffet. Chairs might be in here. There's a lot of stuff, but this is the good kind of furniture. Most furniture I don't like. Mid-century modern always brings me big money. So we got books, all kind of old photos. So I'll see if the sorts just so he wants them. I'll try to give them back. From these kind of boxes. You can always find some stuff that might be a family heirloom, something like that. Old postcards, you never know. But it looks like mainly right here. I don't think it's in there though. But that was in there, probably 20, 30 bucks. I did see this little boat and it kind of made me interested in the unit. Personal stuff in here. Calculator. Some bags. Bags, pillow. Whoa! Clothes, but in this kind of unit, you might find some good vintage t shirts. American Pride. Alright. It's the hodgepodge, some tools. Oh, it's an eight ball shifter for your car. Clothes, glass. Back up for some of these boxes. Standard series, spark plugs, brand new. So we got all kind of decanters, glassware. Ooh, Pyrex. Pyrex. Mm -hmm. We got some vintage Pyrex. I didn't even see that box right there. Let's see what's in that, Shane. We got a belt and clothes. Oh, some gloves. Sure fit? I could use some more clothes. Put these inside. Oh, socks. Brand new. Heavy duty 10 pairs. Brand new. Fruit of Loom. Better. Better new than used. So we got boxes up here. We got shoes. Wagner paint slip roller. These are all shoes. Shoes, shoes, but definitely older, vintage. Huh. And we got the Cleveland Indians teddy bear. Lots of pains. Let's get to this tackle box. That's one of the things I saw. Old unit like this, but some nice old tackle. Oh, yeah. Nice looking little tackle box there. These are some of the older lures up here. This one's still in the box. Right there, we got a reel down here. This is for fly fishing. Made in Japan. Tackle box set. Holy smoke. I think I see some more money back there, Shane. First, we got uh, scrap. This is all brass and, brass and copper. Must have been a little scrap pile. Oh, nice. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, nice. These always scrap. So, this one's not worth too much. It has an old frame. But these have, I call it the bubble glass. But those frames always sell for good money. And we got a matching chair. Him and her. So this one has a little bit of damage and everything else, but still, you know, probably at least 50 to 100 bucks for the pair. Old brass grease gun. <laughs> Cell phones. Maybe we'll find the original iPhone. Oof. Old books. 
magazines, school books. All right, those are our toolboxes right, right here. Look at this thing. Holy smoke. Oh my gosh. Is this an electric bike? This might be an electric bike. This might be some big money. Holy smoke. Wow. Wow. Swag cycle. Wow. Check this thing out, dude. What the heck? It's the swag cycle. Got the bell. How do you turn it on? You don't pedal, huh? Don't try this at home. I don't know. That'd be worth at least 100, 200 bucks, right? I qualify as an EV. I think so. This might be your new motor transportation award machine. <laughs> old guitar right here. So, definitely looks like a Thunder or Gibson. <laughs> I wish. I don't know what this thing was. Of course, they have funeral homes. Sometimes you just got to check in here. They sometimes they will put like the jewelry in here, and I found old wedding bands and things like that. It's a bunch of cards. Check it. Ninety a birthday. Holy smoke! So the person that had this unit might have been 90, over 90 years old. Just drop this, what is this? All kind of old handkerchiefs. So think about that, 90 years old. You can find anything in this kind of unit. Right here's some old glasses. This old glass case. Cards. What is this? More glasses? I don't know what that's for. Hearing aids or something? Screwdriver. Cards, cards. Towels. Towels hold fun. Hey, look at that vintage towel. Oh, that's a blanket or something. Ship's blanket. Very cool. Very cool piece. What is that? Brand new. The cooler chair. Camouflage. That's too cool. He doesn't need a cooler chair. Ooh. Got a little tub there. Must be for like a, a magnetic dartboard. Here. Finished toys. Crane here, probably right, 30 40 bucks. Work light back here, metal shelf, all kind of stuff. I like these big old casters right there. Let's see if there's anything in the dresser. Oh, yeah! This is an old dresser right here. So, this actually goes right here. So I see photos in there. Photos. Christmas stuff. Miracle here. A little hair and anything. This is your nine years old. You probably need a little miracle here. Oh, there's the best of the flag. Maybe the lady, her husband, was a war veteran. He might have passed away. He gave her the flag. Photos. Got a crock. McCoy. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, they're wheat pennies. 
Oh, we could have silver coins in here, Shane. Who knows? Look at this old piggy bank. We'll have to go through there. Oh, there's another one. We got some old pennies for sure. Not the wheat ones in here, though. The other one might be the older change thing. This one might be from a little bit newer. But finding money, always a good sign. Travel pillow. Can't go around with a brand new travel pillow either. I go down a half a mil to grow, I'll need that. All right, I like this dresser. Anytime you find money, life is good. So we're gonna have to get this dresser out of the way. We got stuff piled up. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Holy smoke. Our antique tray might be up. Man, such a beautiful piece, mid century modern furniture. Isn't there anything inside of it? All right. Never know. Nineteen thirty six sterling silver. High honors. Nineteen thirty six, ladies and gentlemen. And it says, lady, we've seen a 90th birthday thing. Power bank. <laughs> so that is a cool piece. Hot, hot tabs. Oh, look at that. Model train right there. <clears throat> That's weird. That's like for maybe a science experiment or something. You master. Definitely a few little things here and there. Lots of vintage goodness for sure. Look at that. Cash prize. They must have just scanned it to see if it won. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, lottery tickets expire. People always say, Rob, you need to see if they're still good. They actually do expire. So, watch repair kit. A few bucks. Oh, nice. I see two good ones right here. First one. Omar Riscal and Dave Conception. Double bobblehead. And right here is a relic. That's for a wallet. That's for a watch. But definitely a few things in here. Worth a few dollars. House, pictures. Huh. That's side empty. Nice piece of furniture, though. Now we gotta keep it that way. Look at these old steel wool pads. Oh, so whenever I drilled it up. Oh, we got dollars in there, sand dollars. Ah, ah. I'll be here all week. I'll be here all week. Gardening stuff. You need more shoes? More shoes. Ugh, look, they're all falling apart. So this lady, is, who knows how old she was, over 90 years old, but we got another dresser back here. The old Cleveland hat. You want to put this on? It's only a little dirty. Nice. We got a drawer right here. Rack and back an extension pole for painting. Onions. Photos. Light bulbs. And an old reindeer. Where's it though? It said Xbox 360. <laughs> that's an X380. I guess that's a Mercury. Louder is a slow poison, so who's in a hurry? Or liquor is a slow poison. <laughs> who's in a hurry? Hey, I'm reading upside down, okay? National Lampoon. Ooh. Old toy horse.
Another horse. Rough heads. Huh. It's one way to get ahead in life. Exception. Another reindeer. And screws. Ho oh, ho! We got a two car quarter reindeer and a Chevy. We got a little tester here. Baseball. Two collector cars. I have no clue. There's all kind of old stuff. This probably was in the garage, maybe or something. A lot of wood. Not sure what these are for. Made in Denmark? Might be candlesticks. Wooden candlesticks. Huh. Little metal box. Money! Some play money. Pica road racing. Ooh, maybe we'll find some slot cars in here too. That's a oldie. Old Spice. Old Spice, baby. Oh, it's still in there, Shane. I can smell good all day. Fish net. Look at that. Oh, that's a Craftsman right there. This is probably 1940s. Electrical stuff, old tools, files, efficient. All right, let's take a look at this toolbox. First, we're going to see what's on top of the toolbox. Greeting cards. Look at this. Vintage little walking reindeer. That's kind of cool. Husky tools. Nice little set of tools, side set. Oh, wow. Avon Lake High School, 1940. Oh, we got some antique photos in here. There's another one of the Navy uniform. Unbelievable. I'm gonna take a look at this toolbox. All right, Shane and I load up as fast as possible, but I gotta stop sometimes, especially when I see jewelry box. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, just some school pictures. Ooh, a little diamond. Fake though. All right, this one. Oh, this one's heavy. Holy smoke. It's one of the heaviest jewelry boxes I ever felt. Hopefully, it's got something in there. That's something. Oh, no way. It's all pennies. It is just loaded. That whole bag is full of pennies. Man, finding money in the unit is always good. Rather, oh, there's more money in here. Polo tie, quarters, nickels, dimes. There's probably more money in here too. Ah. Zales. Man. Hopefully find the good jewelry. Huh. Packers tar soap. I mean that is Vince's good old. Oh, it's full of oh, money. Oh, I see some silver in there. That's Canadian. Wow. 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 Man. Well, I guess that's a box. Full of money. Looks like some, uh, uh, maybe that's a joy box. Oh, there's a little dot right there. Nothing in there, soap container. And then, bills. Oh, that's not bills. Earrings. So, finding jewelry is always a good sign. We have more jewelry in here. There's definitely a lot of bills. Jewelry was down here. Huh. Take a look at this toolbox. You just never know 
We're, we're gonna find that. Indians, pins in here. Look at this. Look at this. What in the second oh, sense man, look is at going it. on here, man? We got the stores, legends, I, and legends. He's in my neck of the woods. You know I have to see this condition of this unit, man. How are we doing? Why don't you buy the unit, man? I don't know. I didn't know it was for sale. You missed out. It closed at midnight last night, right when you were releasing your video. No way, dude. Yeah, yeah, for the Japan fans. Yeah. Dude, look at that. That's sweet, dude. You got... Is that hand built? It has to be built. They built that, right? Yeah, you guys still built do you have to rip that out? Heck no, I ain't ripping that out. No way, you're ripping it's that out. To the wall. I thought oh, that's man. why you were here. Yeah, right. To rip it out. To oh, rip it. Oh, that's some vintage that. pieces. Mm-hmm. Bronze? No. Copper. Brass, mm -hmm. I think. Brass. Mm-hmm. There we Look go. At the antique. You see the antique garden to it? Yeah, there's some cool stuff in this unit. The lady we found birthday cards, 90-year-old birthday cards. Wow. So she was 90, at least 90. No way. This must be some of her husband's stuff in here. Toolbox, a shelf, a couple mattresses. TK, ratchet socket set. Wow. Do you see that bike out there? H Harvey wall oh, banger. Look at this. Look at this. Dude, what the heck is that? Oh, that's a, uh, that's a Rector set. No way. set right here. Looks like it's in there. Oh, yeah, it's got some. It looks like it's nice. still. They buy them for the cases, though. Right there. That's just the motor's missing in the house. But still, a little rector set. Not expecting to find that in the toolbox. We have found some vintage toys. There's more dude, stuff is this, a, is this a legendary unit or what? Well, dude. look at me see this legendary poster. Let's see, I'll grab one side. Whoa, what is the Is that heck? Madonna? No. Yeah, it's Madonna. Yeah. Is that? It's my girl, man. Look at it, she's got hairy armpits. That's Madonna. Girls, just no way. Yeah, vintage Madonna right here. Let's see. Madonna, 1985, printed in England. Jeez, that's wow, gotta be worth something, pits. dude. Nice. You just don't know where you're gonna find it in the store. Madonna, you never know. There's like ceramic pieces down here. Come on. We got some old school ephemera over here. Some old. Man. The best this looks like a good unit, dude. What'd you end up, what, 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 what this set you back? I paid four seventy. dollars I think. Oh, that's not bad at all, man. No, not for a 10 by 20 That's not bad at all. I got this for you, man. Look at that, dude. That little cocktail. I'm going to re-gift it to Chapo. Thank you so much, Rob. Yes. <laughs> so, so far we've been through a lot. We've still got all these boxes. See that going. sign up there, dude? You got the bar sign, Harvey Wallbanger. That's a Harvey Wallbanger. There it is. We got vintage furniture. Dude, what is that? A mailbox? Dude, made of freaking a Bud Light mailbox? I haven't got up there. We'll oh, find out. Man, there's all kind of mystery in here, man. Well, there's going to be some good treasure up here, but we got to get up. We got to get all this stuff out. Got to move this stuff out of our way. We'll probably make another video. I appreciate you guys watching. Never know what we're going to see. Never know what we're going to find. And there's definitely more treasure to be found underneath. I mean, this unit, there's two levels. How many storage units have two levels?